Why are you voting for Trump? All right, young lady, I'll be happy to answer that for you as somebody that is a former Democrat. I'm a two-time bone cancer survivor. I voted for Obama Biden in 2008 based on Obamacare. And then when Obamacare was implemented, I promptly lost my insurance. I could not keep my plan. I could not keep my doctor. That put me in a tailspin of losing insurance. And then on top of that, I got penalized for not having insurance that I could no longer afford. Now that was pre-Donald Trump political career. That had nothing to do with Donald Trump. That had to do with the Democratic Party leaving me behind, even though I voted for them. Now come along to 2016. Donald Trump campaigns on getting rid of the penalty for no insurance. And he did that. Helped my family out and me specifically. Then he campaigned on tax cuts. He did that. I got a tax cut. My employer got a tax cut. My employer then gave all 200,000 plus employees raises because the tax burden on them was less. Now, ironically enough, that company was Costco, a very liberal company that backed Hillary Clinton in the election. Not only did they give all employees raises, which mine was $3 an hour back in 2018, they raised the minimum wage from $12 an hour to $15 an hour because they specifically said the tax breaks. Donald Trump delivered on that. And there wasn't a single Democrat that voted for you and I to have more of our own money we earn. One of the people that, that cast a vote no was a senator from California named Kamala Harris. We dot, did not get into any new conflicts. Our president set foot in North Korea. I don't know if you know how big that is. But the one thing I want to ask you is this. You look young, which means you're probably still on your mom and dad's insurance. So you've never had to face that dilemma as a parent or as an adult. Also, you probably don't own a home. And if you don't know the difference between a th sub 3% mortgage rate versus a nearly 8% mortgage rate under Biden, then you simply don't understand why anybody could ever vote for Donald Trump. To me, since I know how, how all that works, my bigger question is why on earth would anybody vote for Kamala Harris? Because she's sitting here saying no tax on tips, but yet in 2023, her and Biden passed a bill and she was the deciding vote to make this a bill where you had a new way of reporting taxes on tips and they also were going to hire 87,000 new IRS agents to audit us to make sure the government got more of our money. Now she's saying this, just like she says she's going to protect women's reproductive rights, which got turned over under her and Biden. They could have codified it. They didn't. That's why I'm voting for Donald Trump, because he has a history of doing what he says versus Kamala Harris having a history of saying shit and not doing anything about it. That's why I'm voting for Donald Trump, because of the history we have to look back on. A good economy, good job growth. America was doing great before pre-COVID. Now, COVID would have ruined any president. I don't understand why anybody would vote for Kamala Harris. Can you answer that one for me?